Yeah, yeah maybe a little, but I also think it's just, just fun to be out here with everybody and um, just embracing the seniors. It's going to be our last go around with them. So embracing all the coaches, our last go around with them too. So just a lot of fun out there. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, I think we're, we're pretty locked in. I think our game plan is almost finalized. Um, we got our legs under us too, which is awesome. Um, having a long break. Uh, hopefully we won't come out rusty or anything like that. I think we'll be ready to go. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Anytime you're playing a really good team, it's good to have a couple weeks of game plan. And after playing 11, 12 straight weeks, it's, it's good to get your legs back on you. It's a, it's a, it's a grind of the season. And I think we're, we're as fresh as ever, so it's going to be awesome. Uh, they're a very good team on both sides of the ball. Um, defensively, they fly around up front. Um, got a lot of guys that are going to play in the NFL and in the back end, too. So um, we got to we gotta play our best game against them to, to even have a chance. So it's, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, um, not really, not not much, no, honestly. You know, I think uh, I think I'm just kind of living in the moment right now, just embracing everything, just having fun with it, um, having fun with my teammates, and I think maybe after this game, and we'll probably reflect a little more. Um, but we still got one more to go, so that's 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 the ultimate mission. We finished 13 0 Peach Bowl champs, and that's that's what we want to send our seniors off to. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, the bowl gets the bowl gets a pretty uh, our big perk. Um, not to knock on the curable, but a lot better than last year. <laughs> but uh, so it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I guess it's just a reward of, a, of a, a good season, a great season by us and Auburn as well. And that's that's one of the perks that that you get to embrace. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone wants to finish strong. Um, I know Auburn wants to finish strong as well, but there's a big difference between being 12 and one and 13 and 0. Um, you can't you can't argue 13 and 0. You can argue 12 and one. So. That's the way you want to go out. That's the way you want to finish. You want to finish perfect. I think they'll be just fine. We got a we got a great coach in Drake Austin, and we got we got Jake Brown for the shoes. So I think it's be ready to rock. And uh, and those guys have been practicing hard the past two weeks, and they've been looking they've been looking solid. So we'll see uh, we'll see January first, but I think they're gonna be ready. Oh, uh, I don't know if everybody's anxious or anything like that. I think uh, I think uh, they want to enjoy the holiday with their families and stuff like that. So. I think um, we've been counting down the days a little, but it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. We look forward to it. Yeah, this week was a good week. Uh, we got after it, really focused. Last week was uh, good on good, just focused on ourselves, focused on getting the rust off. This week we, was geared towards Auburn, uh, the initial game plan, what they do, what we're going to do, and the guys bought in and, and embraced it. They, they've done what they've done all year, and that's to receive the information we give them, prepare, study. And then they, we had three good days of work, so uh, very proud of them. Now they get a little time off. Now we got to come back, and get ready to go. Yeah, the logistics um, about when they go home, when they come back, what to expect. Um, them understanding that uh, we're going there to win a game. And you know, last last year, the Cure Bowl, I think guys they didn't take it that seriously, and it showed on game day. And uh, we're not going to have that same thing happen in Atlanta. So uh, making sure everybody knows the rules, knows what to do. And if you don't do what you're supposed to do, there's going to be implications, consequences. And uh, I think we're going to be focused when we go there and, and we're going to be uh, ready to put on a show. Most definitely. The guys are competitors. They know what type of stage we're playing in front of, we're playing on. Um, to play Auburn, a team that's beaten two number one teams, SEC West champion, um, Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, January 1st to go 13-0. and The guys understand everything that's on the line. And uh, they practice this week like that and we had a good three days and we, can't, we look forward to going there and, and playing Auburn and, and, uh, and getting a win. We're not going there just to show up, just to compete, we're trying to go win. Oh man, uh, they're very athletic uh, up front, uh, probably the best four D linemen in the country in terms of D line, they get after it uh, both physically and they have speed uh, to rush the passer. Uh, on the back end corners, so they're going to play man to man. They're not going to give you any easy throws. They're going to make you earn everything, and they're going to get after it up front. So uh, across the board, we got our you know our hands are full, but uh, we'll have a good plan for them. And, uh, we got to keep preparing like we've done all year, and uh, we'll be fine. No, no, they're 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 great defense. Across the board, you know, we played teams that had some good D linemen, but secondary wise, they weren't as good. Or a good secondary, but up front, these guys are complete. There are really no holes in their in their defense, and so uh, the, our guys know that. They know they're going to have to prepare. They know we're going to play the best game, and, uh, and they'll do that. I think player wise, it gave them. We're allowed to 
give them some rest. You know, when you play 11, 12 straight weeks, they just need a rest. So we gave them that first week, all they did was lift and, and, and focus on academics and allow them to recover, uh, allow their bodies to recover. Um, last week was more getting the rust off. And then this week is more game plan preparation. As a staff, it gives you more time to watch tape. You can go back and basically watch every game of the season and, and see how they defended certain looks and certain plays and formations. And uh, you know, but at the same time, the game plan is going to be very similar to what we've done all year. You know, there's only so many plays you have, only, only so many things you can do. And so we'll find the best, put it together, and we'll have a good plan. For it. Just like any other week, uh, you know, we're we're creatures of habit. And so, you know, last week was kind of a modified uh, practice schedule, good on good. But this week, next week will be just a normal in-season uh, practice schedule. Same peers, the guys are fresh and ready to go. Uh, last week, like Troy said, um, you know, we were good on good, um, knocking the rust off that everybody say, but we're, we got some good work last week. This week, the guys were very, very eager to get into the game plan, uh, kind of know what information we wanted to have about Auburn. We kind of gave them a preliminary packet before we left last week so they could study and get ready for this week. And they came in, dialed in. They were ready to get into the into the real work of the season. So I thought it was great intensity, uh, great work ethic. You guys had a really good week of practice. Yeah, I think, you know, you, you like Troy said, normally you get, you know, two or three days to get ready for a team. And obviously, you know, we played Memphis twice, and they're a really, really good football team. Um, South Florida is a really, really good football team. Uh, but we just got to minimize the errors on our, on our own part. You know, a lot of those points were, were self-inflicted errors. A lot of those things were misalignments, misassignments. So I think with the two weeks to work on this thing, we'll, we'll have a pretty good idea of what they're going to do and what we want to do against them. So I'm, I'm hoping the mental errors are, are, are down to zero. And, and we just go out and play. Yeah. Well, I mean, they, you know, you, you, you don't like to look at the scores. You know, they score a lot of points on Alabama and Georgia and some of those people in LSU. And so I have a lot of respect for, for those people in the defense that they play. Uh, but across the board, I mean, the old line's good. The running back 21 is an extremely good player. Me and Coach Frost recruited Stidham when he was in high school, so I know how good a player he is. And then they have big physical receivers that can run. So I don't think there's a deficiency. Um, in the starting lineup, you know, the, the fullback doesn't get talked about very much, number 27, but he plays an integral role in their offense. So I think across the board, they're a very good football team. Well, I, I think I think this is going to be a good a good game for, for us. You know, everybody's kind of talked about our D-line all year, and our, our D-line's very confident in themselves. Now it's time to, you know, when the lights turn on, we're going to find out for real. Um, you know, it's a, it's a great offensive line versus what I think we have a great defensive line. Um, so I think the world's going to find out one way or the other, and I think we're going to have a good showing in that in that regard. Um, and I think our outside linebackers and inside linebackers need to play a very physical football game. There's no doubt about that. We need to stop the run. We need to stop a lot of the things that they want to do. And if we can do that, we're going to have a good day. You know, I think I think they're very confident right now. Um, you know, when you first turn on the film of Auburn, you're like, oh man, they do so much stuff. They got so many formations. They got so many players. But as our guys have had a week to digest it and really break it down and kind of see what's going on, I think they're gaining confidence every single day. Uh, they all know how good a football team we're playing. They know that they need to be at their best, but they also know that we're a very good football team too. And we're going to go out there and we're going to play as good as we have all year. And if we do that, it's going to be a real good game and, and to be good on top. I mean, anytime you can finish this, being 12 and 0 is an unbelievable feat. Uh, some of those games, you know, we won 38 to 10 and took the ball away a lot. Some of those games we had to win 48 to 47 and we gave up some points and the offense had to carry us. So it's been a great season for us. Uh, ups and downs, ebbs and flows, uh, some highs, some lows, but it's been a great deal. It's been awesome to be around these kids. It's been awesome to be around the, the fans and everybody that supports UCF. It's just been a tremendous season and I'll always remember this for the rest of my life. So to have an opportunity to finish it off the right way is going to be huge for me. It's going to be huge for the team, all the coaches. It's going to be an awesome deal. Well, we get one more shot with them on the 26th before we leave. One more practice. Um, but I, I hope I hope that I left them as much as they've given me. Um, a long time ago, it doesn't matter. The good memories and the bad memories matter. And they've given me a lot of good memories. They've taught me a lot about being a person, a lot about being a football coach, a lot about being a dad. Um, they've impacted my life forever, and hopefully uh, I've impacted them as much as they've impacted me.